The holiday season isn't far off, and many families have the tradition of going mm -hmm. out and cutting down that perfect Christmas tree. Well, sorry, we have some disappointing news for you. Right. This moth is making dinner out of a lot of Colorado's Douglas firs. We found it's destroyed a lot of trees in the Pike National Forest, leading rangers to put restrictions on tree cutting this year. For 15 years now. But this year, that family tradition isn't happening, all thanks to the Douglas fir tussock moth. And as you can see, it's been completely defoliated by the tussock moth. The moth is a native insect to Colorado. It's been damaging a lot of trees in the South Platte Christmas tree cutting area for several years. Typically what happens is the damage occurs in the larval stage of the moth, and the caterpillars will climb to the top of the tree and start eating the, the newer growth needles first, and then they work their way down the tree. Forest Service is giving out fewer tree cutting permits this year because so many trees have been damaged, meaning thousands of families will miss out on their holiday tradition. I mean, if you drive around this area, you look at how many dead spruces there are, it's unbelievable. It's the, the forest is. It's totally changed. Forest rangers have been monitoring the moth for the past three years. That's what's a shame about this is we actually manage this area for the regeneration of Christmas trees, and a lot of those have been um, succumbed to the tussock moth. They say the moth's normal life cycle is four years, then a natural occurring virus will kill it off. They hope this will be the last year they see them. The South Platte Ranger District normally gives out 7,500 tree cutting permits. This year, it's only giving out 5,000. But rangers are working with the South Park and Pikes Peak districts for more permits if people are willing to drive there uh, for the tree. Now, the permits cost $10 and have to be requested by October 28th.